Hello coming friends! So another week has gone and here we are again uh, for our weekly challenge finding color and during last week we all were coloring for the prompt strawberry. At the time when everyone coloring rather Halloweenish pictures and maybe something autumny, we were coloring a rather summery prompt strawberry. At first I worried a little bit that maybe there will be not that many illustrations for this prompt, but um, uh, as the result I got 76 illustrations, that's a lot, and uh, they are very different, um, just a few uh, same illustrations. Uh, artists are different as well. Um, of course, there is Hannah Carlson, Maria Trolle, uh, Clara Markova, and just those artists that I had expected uh, that there will be some uh, strawberry illustrations. Uh, there are some pictures by Lulu Mayo, um, Rita Berman as well, um, Lika Landau. Uh, of course, the gallery turned out very summery, bright, sunny, I would say warm, uh, but very yummy <laughs> at the same time, because uh, there are a lot of desserts with strawberries in this gallery, you will see, and uh, cakes, uh, cupcakes, and cocktails, ice creams, uh, waffles, um, pancakes every type of desserts. Uh, so maybe you will get a little bit hungry <laughs> after watching this and uh, will want something yummy um, to have. So what I have colored? I was thinking between Hannah Carlson and Tamislav Tomic. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe coloring another picture from Hannah Carlson book, but at the end Tamislav Tomich won, <laughs> and I decided to color a picture from Zimla Snova. Uh, when I looked at this illustration, at first I thought optimistically <laughs> that maybe there are not that many details in this picture and I'll be able to finish it uh, quickly and maybe still have time to color something else. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's not the case with Tamislav Tomic pictures. I uh, was working on it uh, for the whole week, actually. Uh, because there are many small details, as you can see, a lot of flowers, these small flowers, then there is this fairy on the mushroom, and mushrooms themselves a lot of going on, so it took me the whole week. Of course, I'm not that um, speedy colorist, uh, but um, usually I color quicker. Actually, every three minutes I was spending coloring this illustration because I realized that maybe I uh, won't be able to finish it in time, so I worked really hard. Uh, but I'm happy with the result. It looks very summery, all these yellow and blue flowers, uh, all this atmosphere, and uh, these mushrooms, this white thing, it's not like, um, you know, this mushroom with uh, red and white. Uh, in my case, this white is like um, sugary stuff, you know, <laughs> just uh, for decoration of these mushrooms, it's like fairy tale-ish illustration. Uh, then I didn't want to color mice in gray or brown, uh, but I wanted them to be more or less realistic, so I decided to uh, make them white. I think not that bad, they look here, not wintry in any way, because it's not rabbits, rabbits who change their uh, for for white in winter. Uh, mice uh, can be white uh, or gray all the time through the, their life. I believe they don't change uh, color of their fur. 
uh, I used a lot of different color pencils here and um, Prismacolor, Polychromos, Lightfast, um, gel pens and Posca pens to cover black lines as you can see on these blue flowers and on yellows as well. Here is my strawberries. So that was enjoyable. Um, hard but enjoyable and I'm happy I finished it. It's my 11th picture in this coloring book and when you finish an illustration by Tomislav Tomic you feel like like a hero <laughs> actually like oh. and then you ne need a break from his pictures because they take a lot of energy but I'm happy 11 completed illustrations in this book not so bad. And so now let's have a look at all other illustrations sent for this prompt and enjoy some summer and some desserts. Let's go!
that was our gallery of works for the prompt strawberry. Thank you everyone who sent your works. And now another prompt for the upcoming week. Uh, by the way, because many people asked me, I put prompts uh, kangaroo and watermelon back into this box. Uh, so maybe we will get them now. <laughs> Uh, maybe they are not that uncommon that I think um, that would be curious, really. Anyway, let's find out. Wow, friends, we've got prompt planets. Mm, I'm not sure how much you can find <laughs> out there illustrations with planets, but there are some. I even remember coloring a few, I believe, from Kirby. Mm, a double spread from uh, Walls Within Walls, I believe. Mm, and also I remember coloring Galaxy Girl. There were some planets on the background. So we'll be looking something like that. Um, I can't think of anything um, particular, just some associations. Um, yeah, maybe some background, something cosmic, a u univer universe, and uh, maybe some goddesses with planets. Uh, so I'm not sure. So I'm curious <laughs> what I'll be able to find and how many illustrations. So I'm off now to look through my collection and see you in a moment. So I'm back friends. I didn't want to spend a lot of time to look through my coloring books. Uh, so I tried to look into those books where I expected to find something for this prompt planets. And of course, when I saw this book, Circle of Life, uh, straight away I remembered that there is an illustration with planets. And yes, here it is. With a lot of planets. Uh, universe. All planets and the sun. And actually we can color this illustration as well, because there is a sun and there is... Uh, the Earth, and the Earth is a planet, so we can color this one as well. Uh, finally, there are illustrations in Kirby Rosanna's books for this prompt. Walls within walls. As I mentioned, I already have one colored with planets. This one, maybe you. I uh, haven't completed this page yet, so you can now, but that's a lot of work to be done here. Uh, but there is another picture, uh, not a double spread, a single page, and uh, we can see some planets here as well, and this one may be a little bit uh, more easy to color. And another book by Kirby, Mythic World. And the illustrations that we can see on the cover. There are planets, so you can color this one. It's at the very end. Here it is. Then I checked this book, Coloring Heaven, Gods and Goddesses Special, Jesh Lee. Uh, this book is still untouched, and there is a suitable illustration. Gaia, Goddess of the Earth. Again, Earth as a planet, we can color illustrations of such type. I know there are some, um, even I colored uh, one illustration like this by Alenka Filonenka, a woman holding, um, holding planet Earth, just like here. So you can color this type of illustrations as well. Then I have a very simple illustration from this book called 
the Magical Unicorn Society. And there is simple picture. But this black again is so dull. So I will have to cover it again with black paint. But it's rather simple. In case I want some rest after coloring Tomish illustration. And then Owls by Marjorie Sarnat. Actually on this illustration as well we have some planets. But there is another picture. This one. And there are some planets you can see. Here it is. Something more simple again. And then the last one is Goddess is by Coco Vaya. And there is this Goddess uh, Urania. I believe uh, it's connected with this planet Uran Uranus or Uran. I'm not sure how to pronounce and actually the name of this planet in English. Uh, but I believe it is. So you can color this Goddess. Or maybe you you will find some other goddess or some other illustration connected with planets, galaxies, galaxies maybe. Uh, so I think it's going to be interesting. So I'll be waiting for your works with great interest. And that was all for today. See you next time. Bye.